In this video we will learn how to create a professional site builder website like Wix. We will use premium source code to build site website. Users can easily register and log in on our website. Our website user dashboard will be just like this. Your users can view their various template designs. Users can upgrade to premium packages. We can create these premium packages from admin panel and I can earn a lot of money by selling these premium packages. We are getting professional admin panel to control the website. We can control all the features and functionalities of the website through this admin panel. Don't worry how to customize admin panel features and functionalities. I will discuss step by step in this video. We can create any type of site builder. We can see many default templates here. We can choose these templates. Then we can customize these designs step by step. Here we get many important features to customize. We can add new elements to the designs. We can also check the responsiveness of the designs. And we can easily preview the designs. We also get a lot of functionality in the settings section. Here we can add new domain or leave the default domain. We can export and download design elements. And getting some features to customize the builder. We can also create new page builders. We can see that this page is empty. Now we can add different types of layouts and elements. In this way we can design professional page builder. Now we will learn how to create a professional site builder website like Wix. For this you have to follow this video completely. Now we need to purchase premium source code from Envato to create site builder website. Check the video description because I will provide the discount link of this source code in the video description. If you buy this source code once then you can use it on the website for lifetime. Also you get source code update version for lifetime and you can take developer support for any problem. We will also support you. If you have any problem installing the source code or any problem in customizing the website then you can contact us. You will find all the information to contact us in the video description. Now we will learn how to purchase source code from Envato. For this we need to click on the add to cart button. Then go to checkout. Now we need to create an Envato account. We can easily create an account using Google, Apple and Facebook. Or we can create an account by submitting correct information here. I have already created an account on Envato so I will account login now. We must submit the billing details. We can purchase source code using three international payment gateways. You can pay by banking card or pay by PayPal. For example, I will now pay by bank card. For this we need to submit correct banking card information here. Then we will confirm the payment by clicking on this button. Wow our payment is complete. Now we will go to the download section. Then we have to click on the download button. Wow! Now we can download all information of source code step by step. As you can see I have already downloaded all the source code information. Now we will purchase domain hosting to publish site builder website online. You can purchase high quality domain hosting from Hostinger at low cost. Check the video description because I will provide the discount link of the Hostinger website in the video description. If you buy domain hosting from Hostinger, you will get many benefits. I have been using Hostinger domain hosting for my personal website for over 6 years. Because their domain hosting service is very high quality. Now we will learn how to purchase web hosting. You definitely get a free domain with these packages. 
Also, you get many more features with these packages. You get 30 days money back guarantee with every package. If you don't like your domain hosting within 30 days, you can get your dollars back. Also, you can get 24 hours technical support from Hostinger. Or you can get direct support from us. You will find all our contact information in the video description. You can purchase any package as per your choice from here without any problem. As an example, I would now purchase the business web hosting package. We must purchase this package for 12 months. Now we need to create hosting our account. We can easily create accounts through Google. Wow, we are getting 64% discount. We have to pay a total of $59.88. We can purchase domain hosting using many international payment gateways. You can purchase domain hosting using your preferred payment gateway. We need to submit account information here to make payment. For example, we will now pay by banking card. For this, we need to submit correct card information here. Then we have to confirm the payment by clicking this button. Our payment complete, we will now click on the start now button. We can now choose a domain for free. You can choose any domain of your choice. I will now choose any domain of my choice absolutely free. Now we have to click on the continue button. Then we have to go to the next step. Now we have to submit the domain address information here step by step. Then we have to click on the finish registration button. Now click on the finish setup. Now we will go to the hosting control panel. Wow, we have successfully purchased domain hosting from Hostinger. Now we will change the PHP version of the hosting panel. Then we will go to the file manager to upload the source code. Now we will go to public HTML folder. Then we need to extract the source code zip file. Then we will upload this zip file to the hosting panel. Our zip file is upload complete. Now we will extract this zip file. We need to choose a folder name. Now we will delete this zip file. Then we need to select all these files. Now we need to submit these files to the public HTML folder. Now we will delete this folder. Now we will search by typing our domain into the browser. Now we need to add the database here. Now we will learn how to create database in hosting panel. Then we will learn how to add hosting panel database information to website. For this you have to follow this video completely. Now we have to click on continue button. Then we need to submit the admin login information. Then we have to click on continue button. Now we have to click on install button. Our source code install complete now our website is completely ready. 
So now let's log in to the admin panel. Here we can see the analysis information of the website. Now we will go to the appearance section. Then we will go to general section. Now we will change the website logo and favicon. Then we can change the website name. And we can add website description. Now we have to click on save button. Now we will customize the home page designs. Here we can change the home page header titles. And can change the header subtitle. We can add background image for home page. And we can change the header colors. We can easily customize action buttons. We can change these primary feature images. Here we get a lot of functionality to change the primary feature information. Then we can change the secondary feature information. And we can change these footer titles. You can add subtitles to the footer section if you want. And we can add background image in footer section. In theme section we can create multiple themes of any kind. We can customize the website menus. We can add new multiple menu here. Or we can edit and delete these default menus. We can add custom code to the website. We can modify any functionality of the website by adding custom code. And we can customize the SEO section of the website step by step. Once everything is complete, we will click on save button. Now we will customize the settings section. In the general settings section, we can select the home page of the website. Then we can select the default theme specifically. We can generate sitemap very easily. We can then use this sitemap information with Google Webmaster Tools. Now we will customize the Builder section. We can give permission to create subdomain. And we do allow adding custom domains. Also we can add Google Front API. And we are getting feature to add FTP server. We can add international automatic payment methods to the website. We can add two payment methods here, PayPal and Stripe. For this, we need to submit payment method information here. Then we can submit the invoices information. We can customize the localization section. We can add specific time zones. And we can add default specific language. And can add date formats. Then we can enable properties for translation. We can also easily add social media login authentication. We can disable login registration. We can customize the uploading section step by step. We can easily select the storage method. You can add storage from many companies here. Then we can select file delivery optimization. We can easily add specific storage size limits. And we can submit upload file types and submit file type blocked. Now we will customize the mail section of the website. For this we need to submit mail contact information correctly here. Now we will add the SMTP mail server to the website. Now we will learn how to create mail server in hosting panel. Then we will learn how to connect the hosting panel mail server information to the website. For this you have to follow this video completely.
We can then clear the website's cookies. Now we go to the analytics section. We can add Google Analytics here. We can easily add login third party integration. For this we can add the DSN of this website. We may also add queue methods to the website. We'll keep the queue method. Now we will add Google Captcha for security on the website. Now we will learn how to create Google Captcha. Then we will learn how to connect Google Captcha information to website. We are getting functionality to add GDPR to the website. I've already discussed these three sections with you. We may create planned subscription packages on the website. For this we have to submit the information of subscription plans here. We can manually submit a subscription plan to any user account. Here we are getting nice feature for users to submit manual subscription plans. We can see the default template designs here. And we are getting great features and functionality to submit new template designs. Also we can see all user created project list. We are getting functionality and features to control these projects very easily. We can see all the user lists of the website. We can add new users. For this we need to submit user information here. Also we can easily edit the account of default users of the website. We may create user roles to manage the website. For this we have to give permission and create user role step by step here. We can create any kind of multiple pages on the website. For this we will submit and publish page information here. We can add various tags to the website. Then we can see all the files of the website. We can add any language translation to the website. We are getting nice features to handle the translation section. We can advertise any type of company on the website. In this video I have discussed with you the important functionality of admin panel. You can create professional website builder using this source code. You can earn a lot of money by creating a premium subscription. If you have any questions about this video then comment or contact us directly via WhatsApp and email. Thank you so much watching this full video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.